So we've reached the last few tracks on the album Demolition. We're on track number 10 with the weirdest name ever, Subterfuge. Remember the hell that is? Is it even a real word? Is it English? I do not know because I've never seen it before, <laughs> but let's check it out. Okay, now this one is like straight up industrial metal. Uh, it sounds very closely to the stuff Rob Zombie was coming out at the time. The, the, his style anyway with the in terms of the music and that even the vocals has remind me a bit of Zombie but uh, yeah when that he those heavy guitars came in they were such a low tone and there was like a static staticness to them. This is very interesting. Not bad but just another track that sounds nothing like Judas Priest far from it but it's okay so far yeah that lead guitar that down now it's, it's very odd right very kind of creepy uh i love the bass groove though in the background but again this is more like johnny five style guitar playing <laughs> creepy like guitar that bow 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 in the background there uh the picking it's remind me of a bit of a corn uh falling away from me the picking in that kind of random that just came to me but yeah not a bad track in itself but when you think of this as a judas priest track it's not great <laughs> it doesn't really hold up to their older material but if you just take this as another random band, it's okay. I can vibe with it. But like I said before, it has such strong industrial metal vibes that it sounds so far removed from Judas Priest. But it's still okay. <laughs>
low staticky tones there. Uh, a pretty good song. I enjoyed it for what it was. Maybe a little too long for the type of song it is. It should have been at least a minute shorter, I feel. But yeah, catchy chorus. really like the guitars in that chorus. And <clears throat> the vocal delivery was pretty good. Uh, Subterfuge. Still don't really know what it means. It seemed like a song about anarchy or something. It said, like, we will not... We refuse to conform or something like that subterfuge com com consumes I'm still not too sure what that word means but it does seem like it's a real word I don't think they made it up uh, an interesting enough track and it's just funny that songs like this that's 20 something years old not very old but it feels more outdated than some of their like 70s and 80s tracks if I'm being honest uh, just a sign of the times you know back when this came out like i said industrial metal new metal was really thriving and this one sounds like a straight up rob zombie track it does not feel heavy metal or th even thrash or anything this one's like an industrial track through and through especially with that bass groove was really cementing that in there but i still enjoyed it but i think i would enjoy it more if it wasn't judas priest <laughs> but it is what it is and it's definitely not the worst track or anything on here um nowhere near as bad as devil digger or anything like that so moving on track number 11 is up next with lost and found let's check it out <laughs> Leonard Skinner in the house, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the guitar kind of reminded me of that a bit. I don't know what was going on in the verse there. There was the guitar was strumming the acoustic guitar, but there was something going on in the background that didn't sound like it fit in the song. I don't know if it was effects or whatnot, but yeah, just want to mention that the way the song opened. You know how I said it reminded me of Leonard Skinner a bit, but the picking in that it was reminding me of something I've heard before. I'm like, I don't know if it's just similar to a different song that I've heard, or did I hear this song before? I don't know, but I was like, it sounds familiar to me. Then when we get into that chorus, I'm like, wait a minute, maybe I did hear this before. I don't know. It Everything sounds kind of familiar to me. Perhaps I came across this song in the past or whatnot. It's a slower one. It's more like a ballad feeling track. Not the biggest fan of Tim uh, Tim Owens' uh, whiny kind of vocal delivery on the verses here. Um, he's not doing it consistently, but a few times I was like, eh, not a big fan of that, but... The song sounds okay so far, just very familiar. I might have heard it before. Yeah. 
it is again. See, there it is again. It's like these weird, like, tick, 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 like electronic, it sounds like, effects in the background. Like, what the hell is that? Who, who thought that was a good idea to add that in the track? type track you know i'm pretty picky when it comes to my slower ballad type tracks but this one was on the positive side i'd say it just has a few flaws to it like that verse i don't know why the hell they added that background noise in there the weird effects or electronic noises whatever it is it just doesn't work with the acoustic guitars i don't know who thought that would be a good idea but uh, pretty catchy chorus. It sounds so familiar, though. I, I I almost feel like I heard this song in the past. Perhaps it just has that sound, that familiarity sound. But to me, I must have heard this before at some time in my life. But I don't really recognize anything else about the track. Well, the opening uh, picking sounded kind of familiar, too. But I thought that that was just sounded familiar, you know. But that's probably my favorite. Uh, thing about this track is the picking from the opening which you know came back later on we got it uh, during the solo and i thought it worked so well as your rhythm section in that solo and the solo was nice too very melodic epic powerful feeling but not shredding or going technical or anything it was more about just getting you in the feels getting more emotional and Tim Owens' vocals were hit and miss for me in the verse it didn't always work it was a little too whiny but it was fine in the course, so hit and miss. But overall, a decent track, especially for this type of song. Because, like I said, if you know me, I'm usually not into these type of tracks. But this one was okay. Um, that was track number 11. Moving on to track number 12, Cyberface. Like, weird-ass name, Cyberface. But let's see what it's about. Always need an intro.
Love it. I love the guitars in this one. It's heavy. It's got an edge to it. Um, it it's really reminiscent of like Jugulator, I feel like more in line with that sound. This song wouldn't seem out of place on that album. It, it just got that heaviness that I love. And the guitars are just so damn cool. Um, let's keep her going. I'm digging it so far. It, it almost feels like Dun, dun, dun. It feels like you should be marching to this, like a bunch of soldiers or an army lining up for battle or something. not sure how I feel about that chorus it's okay but everything else is freaking great but the guitars are still sticking out to me the most they're heavy but I love the melody and every section sounds cool and badass like every single riff that they keep coming up with and the bam boom bam just everything sounds so damn cool I love it uh, one, one of the better verses and that on the album I feel and Tim Owens He's doing some interesting stuff here. I like the verse stuff. The like I said, that chorus, I'm not too sure about though, with the cyber face. <laughs> cool little symphonic elements in the background too which really just elevate the sound of the track and just gives it a more powerful feel uh that last section we just heard not long ago where they kind of broke broke the song down a bit uh the bass line was a stealing the show as much as i love the guitars i have to shout out the ian hill on bass there <laughs>
Okay, as weird as that chorus was, I, I was kind of warming up to it by the end. It's just so interesting that this is a lot of the same band members as before. Pretty much all. Scott Travis came in on Painkiller, and we got a different vocalist. But musically, it sounds so different. Like, I'd never guess that this be Glenn, KK, and Ian playing the guitars and bass on here. Like, it's just not their style at all from what we heard uh, in the past. This is their 14th album. And I mean, their first 11, 12 albums, while they tweaked their sound throughout, I feel like you could still tell it was them playing the guitars. And here it's so different. It's cool to see. Um... The song was pretty damn good. I really enjoyed Cyberface. Way better than the name gives it credit for. Uh, and the last song on this album would have been Metal Messiah. But I already know it. It's another one of those songs, like I said in the past, that I've known for quite some time now. And I do really enjoy that track too. One of the better ones on the album. So yeah, that's all Demolition. As a whole, not a terrible album. Uh, I think it's very hit and miss. I think it hits more than it misses, though. I'd say I had enjoyed more than half of this album, that's for sure. But there's definitely some misses. Uh, Devil Digger may be my least favorite track on here. And there's a few other ones that just weren't quite as good. But the second half, not bad. I think it was really strong, uh, the B-side of this record. But overall, it may be still the worst Drew's Priest album. If not, it's a contender. Uh, definitely the bottom two or three it's still not a bad album if this was a different name on there if it wasn't priest and another band just coming out in 2001 i think most people would appreciate this at the time but as of now it does sound outdated quality varies from mixed to good so yeah it's a little all over the place but i do appreciate the variation we got on here a bit more varied than Jugulator, which that one was more consistent in its heaviness throughout. Where this one seems like we got different sounds, which does make for an easier playthrough from start to finish, right? When you're giving you a variety there. But a decent album, not the best. But I'm interested to see where it will place in my ranking once I'm done going through all these albums. But that's all I got for you guys today. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future re reactions or rankings. Um, I have a Juice Priest playlist out there if you want to check it out. I did like 130 some tracks at this point, like 134 or something uh, by this point. Yeah, so it's pretty wild. <laughs> so go check them out if you're interested. That's all I got for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, thanks for watching.